Okay guys, uh, this is the third part of my Google Analytics tutorial series and in this tutorial we want to talk about um, how to see where your traffic is coming from and how to increase it. And uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit more detailed so you should pay uh, close attention to what I'm doing right here. So first thing we want to do um, is when we are in our Google Analytics dashboard right here we we will go down uh, to acquisition right here and uh, to all traffic and we will click source medium there we basically get a uh, a whole summary of where exactly our traffic is coming from so as you can see in uh, my case right here in the case of my blog basically um, most of the traffic is direct traffic. I will explain soon what this means. Uh, second one is Google. This means uh, the second most important uh, uh, traffic source I have on this blog is from people actually typing a search term into Google and um, land on my site. So actually I, I can give you one example right here. So uh, let's just say uh, we type in follow like or review as you probably seen my review of this follow liker software, Twitter's marketing software, we will see uh, that my tut my tutorial right here is ranked on Google, and that's how uh, I get a lot of uh, clicks from Google, for example, on this on this page right here. So just so you understand it. So um, next thing is is Twitter in my case, then LinkedIn, then uh, a LinkedIn shortened link, and Twitter again, <clears throat> and the Warriors forum which you're probably also a member if you're into online marketing. Okay, so this is all great. Um, um, we have a basic overview of, of where our traffic is coming from. We can see uh, the uh, specific bounce rates on uh, for each of the traffic sources. For example, let's just say we take the average session duration. Uh, we see that, of course, this right here shows 20, uh, 24 minutes, but we have to be so smart and see that this is not representative at all because it's just from four uh, uh, traffic, uh, from four visitors from Facebook. So four people don't really have anything basically to say. Analytics wise, we would need at least 100 people to make really a difference, uh, to make me really show something of value right here. So when we see our main uh, traffic sources right here, direct traffic, two minutes, Google, one minute uh, 21 Twitter so this would mean that most likely our direct traffic is the traffic that that brings us the most in engagement basically right here and as you can see also the bounce rate is, is a little bit uh, less than with Google traffic and um, yeah actually as you can see right here to here you can see the goals basically um, I will show you though in the next tutorial. Be sure to click the link in the description if you want to see uh, the, the next tutorial how to set up goals because goals are really really important when it comes to analyzing your traffic sources because you know because a, a goal basically is something where people do something that you want them to do. So you basically if they do it they basically completed a goal basically. So I will teach you in the next part how to set up these goals, how to analyze it, and, and things like this. So in this in this tutorial, though, we want, we just want to focus on the traffic sources, um, on the different traffic sources, basically. So um, as we have like a broad overview on, on where our traffic is coming from, um, we can also check out the referrals. And with the referrals, um, it's it's the case that we have a little bit a, a, a few more options on how on, on analyzing them in detail because um, when we for example take an online forum right here like the Warriors forum we just click on it and then we can see exactly which uh, forum thread your our visitors come from so this one right here and then we can click right here and it will actually open the thread so and what we can do is we can analyze this and then we can just bump the thread by just posting uh just replying to someone on here 
we will actually make sure that the traffic increases again and this thread right here goes on their home page again and, and it will get more traffic. So that's a, a pretty nice tweak or a little nice trick on how to increase the traffic by using uh, referrals in Google Analytics. And uh, yeah. So I think I forgot to explain to you guys like what direct traffic means. So direct traffic is basically defined as traffic that's that basically co doesn't come from an exact source, but basically uh, uh, is is directly happens directly, which means that let's say I just type in uh, michaelcoler.co.uk, um, this would be direct traffic because I directly type it into the browser and don't come from it through an external source like Facebook or any forum or Twitter, LinkedIn. I just directly type it in. But you see the thing right here is, and which many people don't don't understand, is that direct traffic can actually also come from other sources like let's say uh, uh, YouTube for example, like from specific, let's say you have a a description in a YouTube video and, and people click on there, on that link in the description, then then on your site. It can happen that it, it it's shown as YouTube in your analytics, but it can also fall under direct traffic. Um, and to be honest, I am not really sure technically why this is the case, but it, it's 100% true. And so that the problem though is that a lot of people don't really know then, like with this direct traffic, like let's just pretend we have 196 views uh, wizards like where exactly do these 196 wizards come from it, it cannot be that all of them just type their type their website into their browser bar and then came to your site so in order to 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 at least try to under, get a better understanding on where exactly they come from we want to click right here on source medium then we will click on uh behavior and then we will check. Uh, we will click on destination page, so we can see exactly on which page people land. And then when we think about our what what kind of traffic uh, uh, sources we have set up, uh, we can kind of assume where this traffic could come from. So let's say I see that eleven people came to this fifty highly inspirational pictures kind of post, so I immediately know. They, these people have to come somewhere. Uh, had to come somewhere, so they probably came from Twitter because I know I tweet these these this kind of posts a lot. So, and right here, how to get more views on YouTube, uh, YouTube ranking guide. These people most likely come from YouTube because I've not actually set up another source. All all I did was promoting it in my uh, YouTube description, uh, as I can show you right here on my other video. Right here. Uh, my YouTube video, you've probably seen it already. Um, I promoted the link right here and when we check the link analytics, we will actually see that it received um, some clicks. And um, yeah, that's that's how these wizards come right here. So you, you, you have to understand that a lot of traffic that comes from, let's say, YouTube or maybe other sources is actually hidden in your direct traffic. And it would be a pity if you don't actually know uh, uh, where it's coming from. So don't listen to people who say that direct traffic it doesn't matter that much because it's just uh, people directly typing in your site. It's not true because most of my sites really have a, a, a huge amount of direct tra traffic. And so you have to, and, and your sites will too. So you have to be able to understand how to do this. Um, so um, I guess it was, this, this was basically it for source medium and, and referrals kind of things. I hope it, it, it helps you to to generate uh, uh, more traffic to your site. Um, and yeah, see you in the next tutorial.